Think not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Those might have been the words of J.F. Kennedy, but they are also the words that make the driving force behind Honorable Femi Bajabiamila, a member of the House of Representatives since 2003, minority leader and a selfless servant of Surule Federal Constituency 1. For the first time, we have a leader, a younger leader, that cares about the people, that make the people's voice count. He has performed wonderfully well beyond expectations. The first day I met him, I was kind of uh, taken aback because of nothing but his simplicity. In respect of where you are coming from, he's always there for you. Anytime you call him, you not a pompous type. You always come to the grassroots in order to assist. He has done tremendously well. He has done very, very well. Little wonder he has endeared himself to the heart of his constituents so that all they have for him is love and admiration. Honorable Femi Bajamiamila, born on the 25th day of June 1962 to late Alhaji Latif and Alhaja Latifa Bajamiamila, graduated from Igbobi College, Lagos, and was admitted into the Faculty of Law from 1980 to 1983. He further obtained a Juris degree and was admitted into Georgia State Bar in 2001. He enjoyed a lucrative practice and a good life with his family in the U.S. He came back to Nigeria to become the answer of desperate yearns of his people for good governance. Contested and won a seat to represent Sule Federal Constituency 1 in the House of Representatives on the platform of the Action Congress and has not looked back since then. Yes, he was elected to be our flag bearer at the National Assembly. But in spite of that, both Abuja and Lagos here, he has been doing well for the members of the party and even the party at large. He actually made the party very proud, APC, our party. He comes across whenever he's presenting his uh, contribution as one that really and truly understands the legislative uh, political landscape. He's highly, highly respected and highly, highly rated in the House of Representatives. Mr. Speaker, I remember Chino Achebe's last book when he wrote, There Was a Country. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, there was a country. Would this have happened years ago? Just less than maybe a week ago, this country, from all sides, we rose in one voice, in unison, to condemn the undemocratic nature of what was going on in faraway Egypt. We did that. Mr. Speaker, I doubt if wherever they are now, people who are listening and looking into this country, they will say to us, physician, heal thyself. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, many have talked about section 11, and I will talk about that in a minute. But let us not forget that before section 11, there is a section that comes before it. That is section one, subsection two. It describes what has happened in River State. Section 1, subsection 2 of our constitution describes exactly what has happened in River State. I will read, Mr. Speaker. It says, and I quote, The Federal Republic of Nigeria shall not be governed, nor shall any person or group of persons take control of the government of Nigeria or any part thereof, except in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution. 
In that section lies the offense of treason. Within that three line or four line clause lies the provision of treason. Let us call it what it is. If it walks like a dog, if it talks like a dog, it is a dog. What has happened in River State yesterday was not even attempted. It is treasonable felony. When you attempt to take control of a power. What is the significance of that position? It's very significant. You have a, the, uh, the major task and responsibility to keep the government in check. That's what it's about. It's, uh, it's not the literal meaning of position that I oppose you in everything. No, there's some things the government will do that I'll be the first to say, okay, well done. But generally, um, in a democracy, you know, even in more advanced democracies, you, it, it's one of the in, um, essential ingredients of, um, of, um, of, of, of good governance. You have to have somebody um, to check you uh, and, and to offer. And it's not just checking. It's not just checking. A credible opposition would not only check uh, your excesses, but will also offer an alternative an alternative platform or alternative policies. And that's what we seek see to do in the opposition. Most importantly is its uh, contributions in adding value to the lives of the constituent. Let's take a cursory glance at some of his achievements so far. Health. Honorable Femi Bajabamila is a firm believer that health is wealth, hence his Sulare Medical Outreach Free Health Programs. About 700 people benefited from his numerous free health missions where constituents were tested and treated of different ailments such as high blood pressure, typhoid, diabetes, yeast infections, amongst others. In 2009, he ensured that the repairs were made on the building of the public health care center in New Road at Salvation Army School. What I've seen, like I've said, is very sad. It's also very gladdening. I don't know how you can have the two at the same time. Sad because what I saw in there broke my heart. I saw abandoned children with all sorts of deformities. All sorts. The six thousand dollars that is required for his treatment we will get across to you next week. Because no child must be left behind. All children are equal in the eyes of God. He made a promise which he has fulfilled and I'm sure if he says to you, I am going to do this, obviously, and I'm sure he will do it. Honorable Femi Bajabamila has also impacted on lives through his numerous empowerment programs, one of which is the 15 million naira support program. In 2007, he spent 12 million on poverty alleviation program where various items such as sewing machines, generators, deep freezers, grinding machines, cars and buses were distributed to 600 people. That's part of the fact that he's not an employer of labor. He has successfully gained employment for over 400 constituents. So it is my work and my job as a, as a legislator to, to, to take those needs back to Abuja um, during the annual budget cycle and fight for my constituents. Handing over of 60 solar-powered boreholes he sunk all over his constituency. Normally before we used to go down the street there to fetch water. But now we have water very close to us. 
particularly at Chedipe, at Chedipe close, water is very, very scarce. There is inadequate supply of water to the neighborhood before the solar bowl was even sunk there. But now that the solar bowl is there, people are really happy. You know, the borehole is really brought to their doorsteps. I do follow Honorable Femi Dajabia Mila. Toba wa she o mi. Tola an she wa la kuko fu o mi la dugo yi. Ola wa amara ola wa o. O de tu she transformer fu wa. Ni su ulele. And then most of the team, do ti she ni su ulele. Oja on got tars in Konko. In his first tenure, he spent 70 million naira in poverty alleviation programs and credit schemes. As a legislator, uh, I, I know best what my people need. Not the federal government, not the president, not the minister of whatever uh, ministry. They don't know what's going on in my constituency. So it is my work and my job as a, as a legislator to, to, to take those needs back to Abuja um, during the annual budget cycle and fight for my constituents. In 2005, his women empowerment program saw 310 women sent on vocational training to make soaps, candles, detergents, pomade, etc. He sponsored 50 female constituents on vocational training with financial support of 25,000 naira for small business startup. And as a man that hearkens to the cry of his people, it was only just that he granted the request of constituents by erecting over 250 solar-powered street lights in 20 streets within Surulere constituency one. Wherever you see um, power solar light in Surulere, it is done by Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila. Solar light, solar bowls, and even the PAC at Inu Road was done by Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila. Every good leader reckons that education is foundation of a good nation. The first program he did in 2003 was Surulere Educational Program. At our daughter, we are running away. Our education, to from our logo, come from Lollewe. I'm going to develop some university, develop secondary school. Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, he has done so well for us in our Surulere here because this is a wonderful project. It's not just a for a school they look. He has built this center for 12 schools. We have 12 schools coming here to learn. We have basic four, basic five, and basic six to teach. Because um, for him to have the children's feelings at heart is a wonderful thing. People look down on primary schools that okay, they don't know anything. But you know, it is better for us to start from the root, not just going to the top there. And in 2008 and 2009, he embarked on construction and repairs of classrooms to create a safe and conducive learning environment for students within the constituency. Schools that benefited from this gesture named one of their sport houses in his name. Thank you, Honorable Femi Bajabi Azila. We love you.
Very friendly, straightforward, frank, honest, sincere, and a dependable ally. We must rescue our country from liches and parasites, from vagabonds in power, and from barbarians at the gate. Like I revert Chino Achebe said once upon a time, there was a country we must agree now. And sad, there will again be a country. Vote the man of the people, by the people, and for the people. Vote the democracy man. Vote Honorable Femi Bajabamila. You lead as a, as a servant. You serve people. And that's what I campaigned to do, to serve people. And I'd like to be remembered for somebody who came in there, uh, rolled up his sleeves, and did his best for his people.